If you haven't heard, there's a pandemic and we have to stay at least six feet away from anyone we don't live with. But I gotta admit, I do, I, I miss my boys. I miss, I miss uh, touching them. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't come out right. What I meant to say is I uh, miss holding hands and kissing them. What's up, man? It's been a oh, minute. Oh, it's so nice to see a human face again, Jabril. I hope you don't mind. I sort of, I made a Jabril analog. I kind of took a, a blow up doll and then I taped my phone to its head and that's where your face is. So it's like you're almost in the room with me now. Alan, I, I thought you were one of those like inventor guys. Why don't you build like a hand extending robot or something? Like Rhett and Link did, you know? They built the hand extender to hug each other. Like, leave me alone. That's actually a much better idea than this thing. <laughs> Thanks, Jabril. Hey, have I ever told you about Raycon wireless earbuds. I'm actually wearing them right now. Can you see? They're so comfortable and discreet, you probably didn't even notice. Alice. They're great for video chats, working Alice. from home, and listening to music and Alice, and stop. uh and podcasts for hours without Alice, driving stop. your roommates and neighbors insane. I just stop. want you to know that Raycon stop. wireless earbuds started about half Alice. the price of any other premium wireless stop. earbud, and that they Alice. sound just as amazing Alice, as other top Alice. brands that you know. Did you know that Raycon Four, was co-founded by Ray three, J? And these are their two, everyday E25 two wireless earbuds, and they're the stop. best. Model yet. Alex, With six no. hours of playtime, seamless I'll Bluetooth pairing, more I'll bass, and a more compact design that gives I'll you a I'll nice noise isolating fit. It I'll also look. comes in new fun colors. I'll and if you go to buyraycon.com slash Alan Pan, or go to the link in the description below, then you can get 15% off your order, Jabril. Don't ever call me again. Forget your six foot arm extenders, Rhett and Link. I'm gonna come up with something way better by overthinking things for two months for about a tenth of the views. Do you guys remember slap bracelets? Cause the army sure does. This is what a military grade slap bracelet looks like. Slap bracelets are bi-stable. That means they have two stable shapes that they can transition between with a little bit of energy. This giant slap bracelet is called a roller tube. I found it on an eBay military surplus store. It's also bi-stable and it's designed to be a quick deploying antenna mast. And the ratio and length between it rolled up and it being straightened out is basically magic. This is a pasta roller. I'm using the gears from this thing because all the gear stores are closed. Uh, my welds are not pretty, but um, the, at least, <laughs> what, what am I saying here? I welded the gears onto long bolts, and then I put a rubber hose on those bolts to turn them into grippy rollers. All of my 3D printers are broken, so we did this the old-fashioned way and just found some plumbing parts that were the exact right shape. Uh, also, I designed a bunch of parts and laser cut it out of acrylic, but I didn't film any of it, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> the world's on fire! Here's our auto roller tube extender. It's got a spool in the back where the roller tube rolls up, and it's got two rollers. In the middle here, it actually takes a lot of force to transition between these two by stable modes from rolled up to straight. So we need a lot of torque to actually turn these rollers and that's why we've got this electric ratchet. Let's go ahead and put a boxing glove on the front there just for some flavor. Uh, let's give it some gas, extend baby! I mean, except for the boxing glove, but we'll, we'll replace it with a robot hand that can actually open and close so I can actually grab things. And I guess we'll have to communicate wirelessly. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the precise moment where I should have just given up. You're gonna see why in a bit. It's actually pretty straightforward to take all the guts out of an electric ratchet and sort of rejigger them and mount them onto the side of our auto extruder. I took the leftover handle and converted it into a, a handle. <laughs> Then I took a toy robot hand that was crappy and converted it into an, an adult robot hand that, that's uh, less crappy in a way. I used some more unexplained laser cut parts to mount the uh, fingers to a powerful servo and I made an opposable thumb out of uh, coat hanger wire and a silicone tube which I think is pretty neat. I, I think I did pretty clever there because it's adjustable and it's pliable. Oh, also the fingertips are pencil erasers. You'd think it would be easier to make a robot hand just open and close from six or eight feet away. The way the roll tube rolls up though, I, I can't use wires, so that's why I said wireless. All my go-to electronic stores are shut down right now and I just want to get this thing done. So I have to use what I have. The only thing that I have that works that's wireless right now are the Wi-Fi modules from my old 
Zelda Home Automation Project. So this stupid robot hand is running a web server and this controller requests a URL with the state of the buttons in the address as a string and that's how this hand knows what button you're pressing. I think, I think that's how it works. I'm not even sure. I stole this code from some tutorial. A hundred thousand people died. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's got straps. It's got a robot hand with an IP address. It's got buttons and a manual reverse. All that in a built-in meat grinder. It's very safe. That's right. It's Alan Pan's Inspector Gadget Social Distancing Super Extending Robot Arm Vibrator for Social Distancing. I want to eat that tasty apple, but my legs have atrophy from quarantine. Activate it with my internet hand. Yeah, it will set it to reverse. Bring it in. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, Jabrella. Hey, Jabrella, look, I did it. I made, I made the robot hand extender. I actually love this. Is that you, bro? <laughs> My what, long arms? Yeah. Jabril, stop! Not bad. Not good, but not bad. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost, almost. You need better grip. Oh, yeah! There we go. Oh. Pick it up! Pick oh. it up! Oh, oh yeah! No! No, oh, God, don't drop it! Don't drop it! Bring it back! Don't drop it! I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure cats can carry coronavirus. Come here. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, don't be scared. Don't be scared, Jimmy. <laughs> Can I cut your beard then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> The same way grandma used to pet me. <laughs> Alan, there's there's someone stuck in a tree. They they need some help. Oh no, it's it's a cat. It's, that's a <laughs> there's big a cat stuck in the tree. <laughs> 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 he was more inflated before. Oh yeah, here we go. Now now we're cooking. Yeah. Oh. Alan, I think you defeated the purpose of saving someone's life, social distancing at the same time. Oh, uh, should we, should we put him back? Do you think his mom is still come back for him if he smells like me? <laughs> We're here at the best chicken sandwich shop in all of Los Angeles because they have the best cups of coke in town. Things are opening back up. We have to wear masks. It's takeout only, but most importantly, we gotta stay six feet away from everyone. That's why we got the world's first social distancing arm so I can order and grab my food at a safe distance and definitely not annoyed by how loud this is. I just have a, a Diet Coke. Much safer. <laughs> You're gonna spill it all over the. I'm not, I'm not gonna spill it. I'm not gonna spill it. Don't drop it. Don't drop. Yeah. Don't drop. <laughs> don't drop. No, see, it's good. I don't believe you. I got it. No, see, now we're gonna get out of here. No. And yeah, everyone, open, Chelsea, open the door. Everyone. And look, everyone gets to stay safe this way. We're up. all healthy and safe. <laughs> It's much more satisfying when you when you have to do all that work for it. <laughs>